me be flat earth. Dinosauria. Dinosaurs. What do we really know about them? Well, Charles Darwin never mentioned dinosaurs at all in his origin of species because of fossils. And doing a little bit more research into the dinosaurs, 99.9% .9 of all fossils that are actually found by archaeologists all over the world are marine based. Certainly not land based. You can even buy marine fossils on the top of Mount Everest. There's a shop that actually sells them to the general public. All the bones in the natural history museums all over the world are cow, whale and chicken bones plaster of Paris. This is the Hadrosaurus, the first dinosaur that they ever found and it was basically based off teeth. This gentleman apparently found a bone of a dinosaur in his shed and kept it for the last 16 years. People just don't find dinosaur bones. Only specific archaeologists on these certain digs, special digs, that are funded very well by the universities. Now we know the word dinosaur or dinosaur was invented in the 1840s by Sir Richard Owen and there is no mention of the word dinosaur in the Bible. But there is dragons like there is in the Chinese calendar. Which brings me to my very interesting point. I'm going to throw something out there. Maybe there's no such thing as a dinosaur species to what we see the variety. But a Komodo dragon is what was around and what the ancients have been depicting all these years are giant Komodo dragons. Hence why there are no bones ever found, just small fragments and uh, artist impression of what they would look like. So back in the day, a giant four-legged monster with a huge head, tail and a tongue, or a Tyrannosaurus rex or whatever the hell that is on the, on the left. You decide. And it really isn't hard to understand that it could fit a couple of baby Komodo dragons or even giant little baby Komodo dragons on the ark with him as well. They sailed or circumnavigated the flat plane on their way to survival. And when you think about it, the floods that actually came down, where did the waters reset? It just froze and created the giant ice wall that surrounds us on the beautiful flat plane. Maybe you look, but you don't see. But there's more here than meets the eye. The truth doesn't fear an investigation, and neither do we. Because sometimes people hold a core belief that is very strong. When they are presented with evidence that works against that belief, the new evidence cannot be accepted. It would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable and it's called cognitive dissonance. And because it is important to protect that core belief, they will rationalize, ignore, and even deny anything that doesn't fit with that core belief. So the flat earth science in the Bible requires you to do a lot of research and to try and understand a little bit about mathematics and what they call the divine code, which is the Fibonacci sequence. Now that starts with a zero when it comes to a one and the sequence is created by adding the two previous numbers to create the new ones. The sequence has a very interesting connection to the Pythagoras theorem and the golden section and it was all about finding a divine mythology, um, a mystique in the art and architecture of the world. And even if you use the Pythagoras theorem as well, you can work out quite simply, like Parallax did, how the sun is only three, about 3,000, 3,500 miles away. As you can see for yourself when you do the flat earth science. Actual flags of organizations that are used all over the world. And I want to give you a quick joke. What's the difference between an astrophysicist and a flat earther? One is grounded in reason, science and logic, and the other one is an astrophysicist. <laughs> I'm Needy and thank you very much indeed for watching. Tap that subscribe if you're new and you have a great day.